What's up, crypto junkies? Jameson here, and welcome to another training video. All right, so I got my whiteboard uh, up, and we're going to attempt to uh, do some trainings, do some little trainings and teachings here. So here's what I got. I want to go through what I've termed as the three phases of, uh, of investing. Now, what this is, is this is basically walking through the natural progression of somebody who's brand new into cryptocurrency investing and where they ultimately go. It's where I've ultimately gone. It's where I've watched you know, a lot of other YouTubers go that are talking about cryptocurrency. And so I wanted to share that with you uh, today in this quick little video. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So the first phase, uh, and I'm really, I, I wish I had my Wacom tablet and my little pen and I could do like pretty little sketch by hand and you'd be like so impressed, like, oh my God, wow, he's great at that. But, uh, but I don't have that. So what I do have is uh, I, got, I got the type tool and I can do some mouse clicks. So that's pretty much all I got for you. But anyways, phase one, understand that phase one, it's like um, we're pretty stupid, right? Like we're still very ignorant from the standpoint that we don't know much about what's going on. Chances are you watched a YouTube video, much like a lot of the YouTube videos that I've got on my channel, and we're talking about blockchain technology and Bitcoin is going to revolutionize the future and money's going to go away. And you're in one of two camps. You're either a baby boomer who already sees that your social security is gone, that your 401k is probably not worth what you thought it was. And all these things that you thought were for sure safe bet are not anymore. Or you're a millennial that's naturally a disruptor. You're not one of the ones that has this crazy sense of entitlement that everybody owes you the world. And you're a self-starter. Like you know that you're in direct charge and in direct responsibility of your own future, of your own uh, success. And so you want to take charge and, and you've gone through YouTube and you found yourself some videos that got you excited about cryptocurrency. Great. Now I've got some money. What the heck do I do with it? Because again, we're in phase one, so we're still pretty stupid. Like we know some of the terms like cryptocurrency, blockchain, Bitcoin. We still don't really know what the hell most of it means though. So what do we do? Well, we found the videos that explain a little bit about Bitcoin. Chances are we've now also found some videos that are talking about all these auto trading bots, right? Like BitConnect, USI Tech, Control Finance, uh, BitPetit, and so then we're like, well, wait, I don't know that much, so I might as well do this because this seems pretty. This seems like a pretty good deal, right? And this seems like a pretty good uh, idea. And so we'll go to these auto trading bots, and then we'll start to actually make investments. Excuse me, and lending, and that's all still part of phase one because it's really like the laziest phase that you'll go through. It's the lowest level of information, the lowest level of education and intelligence as well. And none of that's bad, it's, um, it's great because where it leads to ultimately is, uh, is what we want. So here, let's go through my, um, the, the vetted auto trading bots that I've gone through. I know that not all of them, all but one has been around since uh, the beginning of this year. And I know people who have already gotten back their full principal. I know people who have invested over $100,000 into these platforms and they're pretty, they're pretty stable, okay? So first one and my favorite is BitConnect because it actually is a cryptocurrency. It trades on CoinMarketCap. It's, uh, it's actually listed in exchanges. They're actively working on it to be listed in more exchanges. It's like a real thing, right? And so BitConnect, I think, is, uh, is by far my favorite. I know people have jumped $100,000 into that, and they're getting, uh, what is that, like 1300 I think a day they're actually getting that back if, if you want to play around with that number jump into my BitConnect uh, calculator or you can email me at crypto junkies at protonmail.com and I'll send you over a copy of it it's just an Excel spreadsheet play around with it it's not a hundred percent accurate I do have to tell you uh, the lending piece is wrong with the amount of interest that it uh, calculates but it's very close Anyway, so BitConnect, uh, yep, I trust it. It's been around long enough. And USI Tech, I actually put next as the next trustworthy. Control Finance, I put next. And uh, Finance, hopefully I can spell correctly today. And then the last one is the new one on the block that I've been messing around with. Is Bit Petit. Okay. 
uh, affiliate links will be underneath the video too in case you want to sign up. Obviously support me, sign up through my link because I'm going to have some uh, more training and marketing coming at you as well as uh, we're going to grow a little community here together. So you get in on that if you sign up under my link. Yeah, duh. All right. So now we've got, you know, we've got our four soldiers, we've got our four layers and options. What do we do? Well, these have minimums. So let's talk about these minimums. Uh, BitConnect is $100. USI Tech it goes up and down with because it's based in Euro, but I believe it's not 40, 60 bucks US right now. Control Finance, you can come in at $10. And BitPT, you come in at 0 0.005. Uh, Bitcoin, which I believe is also like 10 bucks. So these are the minimums that we have to play around with. And again, in phase one, we don't know anything else exists. We don't know about staking and um, we don't know about trading really. And all of that, if we do know about it, it seems big, scary, complex. Let's keep it simple. We're in phase one of this thing, okay? So now that we've got our minimums, now let's start to play around with some hypotheticals here really quick before we move into phase two. Um, a lot of people and how I started all my accounts and how I started my whole journey was exactly how a regular person would do it. A regular person has got a hundred bucks laying around. Like I hate to say it, but you can, you can find a hundred bucks. Stop eating out at Mickey D's, you know, whatever it is, whatever your little crutch is, save it, put it on the back burner for a couple weeks, save yourself up a hundred bucks and you can do that. So if you if you only have a hundred dollars, let's let's play around with the hundred dollar example, hundred dollars US. Um, then what I would suggest is that you, come on, come on, guy, select it. No, we want to select. There we go. Not so good at this whiteboard thing. So if we got a hundred bucks US, then uh, how do you go back and do this thing? Ba -da -ba 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 -da. No, you know, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty much not liking me. Let's say we got a hundred dollars. I could go and just dump that all into BitConnect. And there's a lot of people that would, because they're like, Hey, you know what? BitConnect has been around the longest, blue, blah, blah, blah. But if you wanted to really mitigate risk, wouldn't it make more sense to jump in on all three of these? Cause I could, I could get a decent position in all three. And I mean, all three going away in one day, very unlikely. And so, yeah, to mitigate that risk, you could also divvy up that $100 into all three and do a $60 position, which is one package in USI Tech, 20 in Control Finance, uh, and then 20 in Bit Petite. probably once you're done with the, uh, the conversion fees and the little clips that you get with moving over the money, you're probably at about 100 bucks at that point. And then, you've got uh, three active investments instead of just the one, okay? So that's at $100. Let's keep playing around with this because there's people that come in way bigger than that. So I'm gonna jump next to $500 and we're gonna mess around with this example. So then if you come in at $500, you could definitely come in at one position of five, um, excuse me, 100 at BitConnect. And you could stake in at USI Tech, Control Finance, and BitPetite as well. With BitPetite, I would definitely suggest that you invest you come in at Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin, and you can get paid out in US dollar or in the same cryptocurrency. Get paid out in the same cryptocurrency because the, the market is pretty volatile, but it, it's just smart to get paid in the cryptocurrency that you came in at. Um, I also, too, believe that Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin are long-term holds or could be long-term holds. If you don't believe in that, then maybe you want to go with the US dollar. All right. Ay, 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 got it. Okay, so $500, looking a little better. And then we come out and we do a little $1,000 banger. Well, it'd be a thousand, let's do a thousand ten because we have to do a thousand ten at BitConnect. Um, if we wanted to do that, oops, created that guy. Boom, bring him over now at a thousand ten. We could grab one solid position in BitConnect where we get a point zero one point zero one zero. Uh, percent extra uptick on the regular daily interest. So we're getting an additional, and I'll tell you right now, I've got two in the, in the accounts in the uh, BitConnect that I show you every day in the videos just about, I've got two, two, two $1,010 positions. And that alone brings in like 40 bucks a day. So, you know, I'm not, 
let's let's see let's hold on a second let's rewind the train here 40 bucks a day times 30 days that's twelve hundred dollars a month right there um that's like that's paying some bills man that's paying some serious bills after the conversion fees and moving it around and all the wallets you're still pretty sitting pretty good right and this continues to go up but here's what i want to talk about next is I want to talk about how you should really break down your percentages because anything over a hundred dollars you could really start to break this down and here is uh, an example of what you could do so we're gonna come in at 50% of all of my investments well in the beginning it's a hundred percent because in phase one this is all I know about but this is gonna have to change in just a second once we make the next jump into phase two but uh, we could do something as simple as like 50% here we could do uh, 20% here and then what do we got left or excuse me 25% here and then you've got another 25% that you could totally do uh, 15 and a 10 uh, 20 and a 5 you could do a 10 and a 15 going the other way however you want to do this but let's just say we do 15% here and then 10% down here at the bottom 15. so what that means is that every single time you've got money in your hand you would come in and this is how it would be allocated and this is a very smart strategy to use, and it's very simple because it's, a, it's first and foremost allowing you to have a structure and a plan with your investment strategy, which I think the number one fault that people have when they come into this is they look at it like it's the lottery. They're looking at, because most people look at the stock market like that. They're like, ah, close my eyes, bet on black. Yeah, lucky, oh, nope. ah, shit, I lost all my money. You have to have a plan, and when you have a plan, you sleep better at night. When you have a plan, you feel more confident and secure in what you're doing. Just like anything in life, you like you got to have goals. A goal is nothing more than a plan. Um, and then we can work that backwards. So let's do that together. And uh, we can start to do that when we get above, above 100, you know, 200, 300, 500, uh, etc. You can start to get a plan. Now, this is acting as if I've got uh, 100% of my money is just being tied up in phase one. But what happens when that, that changes? Let's now jump into phase two here. And uh, we'll talk about phase two. Come on, Jay. Talk about the rest here. All right. Phase two is like, okay, I am into these auto trading bots. I want to once again mitigate my risk even more, and I want to feel more safe and secure with what I'm doing. So at this phase, we do way more research, we get way more education and intelligence, street smarts too, because maybe we, we listened to the wrong people and we got into like crypto solutions or Spay or one of these other ones that have gone away and oops, there goes our money. So we've wisened up at this point, we've gotten street smart. Now, at this point, we introduce holding or staking. Holding would be me just holding X amount in Bitcoin itself, X amount in Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, Monero, blah, 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 whatever you wanted to do, right? And then staking would be where I actually am staking up my coin, like what BitConnect offers, and they're giving, it's for a certain amount of time, this is often also called lending, and I'm staking it up for an amount of time, and I'm getting back a percentage. Staking usually doesn't involve a long window or hold time, though. Understand that. It's usually like five, 10 days, or it's just based off the rolling balance in my account. I'm getting a rip every single day. You see how that's different than making an actual lend through BitConnect, buying a package in USI Tech, Control Finance, I don't know what they call it. Bit Petite, it's considered like tumbling. So this is a little bit different when I'm actually staking my coin. Like BitConnect has this whole other application that you download and you move your BitConnect coin down into, down into this other application, and then it's active, it's staking. A lot of the exchanges and wallets have a program like this. Cryptopia has a program like this, which is pretty, it's not that good, but uh, I, know, I know a few people who are doing it just because, nah, what the heck, why not? They're, they're spread out enough now that it's like, okay, let's get, my hands into other things. ICOs are kind of very similar to that as well. Talk more about that in a second. But phase two is when I really expand beyond just the trading bots. And I'm like, okay, now what? And I start to get into holding coin, which now let's talk about, well, how would you really allocate and break that down? I think 
Bitcoin we can consider the gold standard at this point. Because, yeah, it's volatile from week to week, but overall, it's going up in value. It's gone up almost $2,000 per coin in just the last 30 days alone. Uh, Bitcoin, let's do Ethereum. Let's do, we could do Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Lite. We could do uh, Litecoin, Dash. Let's just use these for lack of better. Uh, four, and then let's do B. DC, which is uh, Bitcoin Cash or BitConnect. Kind of sucks that they both have the same acronym. All right, so now we've got those guys. Can I go back and redo this one? No, of course not, little rascal. Okay, so now we're talking about, let's just talk about holding, okay? We would have to come down, and now this whole top phase and section changes because we're only going to allocate 50% to phase one, 50% to phase two, okay? So we would be breaking down 50% across the four options at the top and 50% on the five options at the bottom or four or two, whatever you want to do. Like Bitcoin Ethereum, again, we're mitigating risk by diversifying and, and spreading out a little bit and we're not also thinning out too much. So you could start with just two, understand, then it would be like 25%, 25% in that. But let's say it's like, we're actually going with what I got here. So we're going to 20, that's 30%, 40%, 45%, uh, and 50%. So there's our 50% up top. And here, it would be very similar. So oh, of course, you don't want to let me re-edit that. I don't know how to do that. Eh, oh, well. And so here, it would once again change because we've got four options. So we could do 20 cent. We could do another 20%, that's 40, and we could do 5 and 5, or we could do 10, 10, 5. I like 10, 10, 5 better. Than 30, 40, and 50. What? 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, 10, 10, 10. Uh, math skills, once again, serve me well. Good job. All right, so then it would change in phase two, which we can actually. Uh, dang, how do we get rid of that? How do we Clear that. Clear. No. Eraser. There it is. Boom. Boom. Oh man. Okay. So this is this is phase two. We'll also come up here and do phase two. On our little our little breakdown selector. Move it over. We're gonna go ahead and erase this guy too. Phase one. So it's phase one. Phase one. I could retype that out, but I really just don't feel like doing it. So phase one is just the auto trading bots and it's a hundred percent allocation. So this is what that would look like. Phase two, we got 50% being allocated to the trading bots, 50% being allocated to just holding. And this is what that looks like. 20%, 10, 10, 10, or you could break it up however you feel like actually. And so now the 100% of my money that's being allocated towards cryptocurrency investment is looking like this. And these, I do nothing, no matter what happens, I am not touching these, and I'm just holding on to them. It's hold pattern, okay? I could also do staking, which, again, we talked about briefly, and you'd have to sliver out your percentages differently based on that, but phase three and how I have that broken down, let's jump into that now. Come on, text tool, there we go. Okay, good job. Uh, how I have that broken down is actually getting into trading because again, I've wisened up. I've got smart. I've got all this experience. You've probably had some massive flops that have happened, some stupid stuff you've done and you're smarter. Phase three, we introduce trading. Now, trading just like you do on the stock exchange. This would be through an exchange, uh, Bitrix, Kraken, Cryptopia is another one, .co.nz in case you're wondering. And we can actually go in and trade. Now, the charts that you wanna look at, you'll wanna be looking at the Bittrex uh, breakdown charts, tradingview.com has also got some really great actual live to the millisecond charts. And you're gonna have to learn what the hell all that means. Bollinger Bands, uh, <laughs> just the whole strategy of investing really. And that could take some time. And so in the beginning, I suggest that if you're completely new to trading, you would allocate very low to trading. Uh, 
based off your overall, you know, amount of money that you've got. Like if it's $10,000 a month that you've got, then you would put the lowest amount towards trading. Cause in the beginning, again, we're starting almost all over again in this cycle of intelligence and we're dabbling. We want to dabble too with the amount of money that we're investing because we might do some really stupid stuff in the beginning and we don't want to put so much money into that that it actually we're, we're losing and it, may, it would make more sense at that point to just stick with the Autobots. Uh, we don't want to do that at any point. So allocate the lowest amount of budget in the beginning to the trading aspect, which is phase three, when we start to introduce that. But then as you once again get smarter and more sophisticated, it'll tip the other way. And I think the least amount of your budget should go into the auto trading bots like the BitConnects and the most should go into your self trading because you're making way more money. When, when you know what you're doing, you could be doing 10, 20% a day uh, it was trading yourself, which just slaps the shit out of, you know, the auto trading bots really. But again, in the beginning, you won't be like that. So your scale and how you're breaking down these percentages is always constantly changing. But I suggest if you haven't already to create some sort of strategy and plan like this to where we just, in the beginning, we've got the lowest amount of money, lowest amount of intelligence. Let's just kind of, you know, trickle into this thing. And then let's get into some holding, then let's get into some trading, and then all we start to do after that, after phase three, is we're just refining our numbers, we're refining our strategy and what this all looks like. And as time goes on, I'll break down more in-depth videos and positioning of wallets, how you really start to analyze your fees, uh, transfer fees, and things like that, exchanging, um, getting it taken back out of crypto into fiat, it's actually extremely hard still, especially in America. It's easier in other countries, especially in Asia, because it's, it's looked at differently and they are more open to it, I think, uh, because me being in Indonesia, it's pretty easy. I can actually treat it almost like a bank account with, uh, with the in and out transactions of fiat to, uh, to crypto, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin back into to fiat, paper money. So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope that this has helped you in some sort of way, maybe opened your eyes to uh, a better plan than what you've got now. And that will help you out. That'll help you make some more money and, uh, and stay wise with, with everything that you're doing with crypto. If you haven't subscribed already, <laughs> duh, you should probably do that because we're the sweetest and best community on Facebook. Not really, but uh, I would love if you did subscribe because constantly putting out more content. We do have a community piece getting rolled out in the next 30 days. I got a digital, digital training course coming out in the next 30 days as well. We got some big, crazy things happening, and I'd love for you to be a part of it just because um, that's what we're doing with this, right? Like it's all about sharing with the crypto community. So if you consider yourself a crypto junkie and want to join the community, the first step is to subscribe to the channel. Place a comment uh, if you'd like. Interact with me. Let me know if you liked the video, you hated it. Comment on uh, different topics you might want to see me cover in the future. Whatever. It's all good, man. It's all good. And the more you interact with the videos, the more they get out there. So if you see one of my videos and it's struggling, it's, it's got less than 100 views, help a homie out and comment. Give it a thumbs up. Do all that good stuff so that YouTube's like, oh, yay, it's popular. And it serves it up to more people. We grow this community. We grow this community together. You know, when I started this channel, we had zero subscribers. We got 150 now. That may not seem like a lot to, to some people, but the first 100 is the hardest and the first 1,000 is the hardest. After that, it starts to really get rolling and that momentum and compound effect starts to take place. I'd love for you to help with that. I really would. And be on the lookout because I'm always shooting new videos. I'll probably post up a few more in the next 24 hours because that's how we're doing it here. All right. See ya.